Hello everyone, welcome to your Plant Illusion channel. I'm Mish. I'm Blues. I'm Mastodon. And I'm Rocco! Hi guys, Mish here, and this video is going to be a guide to untap.in. In our update video number two, we announced that we've put cards into untap, so now you can play on untap, and this video is going to explain how to use untap. The first thing you want to do once you get into untap is create a deck so you can actually play. So you need to go into decks, and then click create deck in the top right corner. And then it will show you a lot of different games to choose from. And I'm going to assume that you're making a Planolution deck. So click custom CCG, as that's where you can find Planolution. Then you need a deck title, so I'm just going to name it example deck and create deck. Now, to actually find cards, you can either just type the name if you already know what cards you want. Like, if I want to find, let's say, Planet Terraro, then I can just type in Terraro and find it. But something that's very useful, which you can do, is you can copy this right here and put it into the search bar. And then, if you're looking for Planet Illusion cards, replace that M1 with Planet Illusion. And then just click enter, and it will show you all the cards that are in untap that are Plan Illusion cards. So this is very useful, and now that we have all the cards available here, let's get the deck going. So first, you need a planet card for a Plan Illusion deck, so you can just find a planet, like Tarot. And by the way, to see the picture and what the card does, you can hover over this image thing, and it's shown on the top right, as you can see. We'll want one copy of Tarot, and we want it to start and play. And then press the minus to decrease it, plus to increase it, but we only need one. So one tarot. And then you can just go through the cards and just add them into start and main deck, which is going to be your deck. And let's say we want four Rocco's. It sets it to four uh, right away, but you can decrease it and increase it, as I said. And yeah, I already have a deck made, and it would take a long time to build a completely new one. So I'm just going to show you now how to actually do the playing part once you've built your deck. Now that we've made a deck, we want to start a game so we can play. So to start a game, it depends on what you want to play. If you want to play Magic the Gathering, then you go here, but we're going to play Plan Illusion. So then just click New Game. You can title it and choose uh, one of the, like, just how complicated your game is. But I'm not going to be playing with another person. I'm just going to be showing the settings on the game. Then you click Start Game. And then it will make you wait, but I'll just skip through this so you guys don't have to watch me just doing this for 20 seconds. Now the game started, and we can click Enter Game. So once you've entered, you can choose a deck. I'm going to choose the Terraro Starter deck for now. And uh, the Planet card will already be on screen as we put it into Starts and Play. And then to draw cards, this is probably one of the most important features, you hover over the deck right here. And either click the hand to draw one card, or you can hover over draw multiple and just click the amount you want. So in Plan Illusion, you start with five, so I'm going to draw two and draw three. Now we have five cards in your hand. So on top, it doesn't like dictate the rules of the game. You just play out cards according to the rules. And to keep track of DNA in Plan Illusion, usually we make counters on the planet, and you do that by, I already did it, but you hover over the three bars, then click Add Counter, and then to change the counter, you can click it, and to decrease it, you can uh, right-click, and it will go down. Then to play cards, you can just drag them out of your hand like this, and there are some other things you can do with cards, like if you, you can, uh, I'm just going to show you all the things, I won't go through all of them. You can put your card face down, if you want to put it in the graveyard, you click discard, expel is just like another form of discarding it just it's not the graveyard then face down pile and if you want to put it back in your deck you can either choose to put it on top or on the bottom of your deck or in your second deck but this isn't useful for plan illusion so the other things that you want to be able to do are going to be to search your deck sometimes as there are a lot of abilities that do that to do that you go onto the deck hover over it and hover over th the three bars and click find card then you can choose any card out of here, either drag it into your hand, or you can even put it right on the field. And it's very simple uh, how to find stuff. Then some other things you want to know is 
uh, I don't know, maybe you forgot to put your planet card in, you can go to insert tokens and then type in the name of any card. So let's go Tararo. And we put Tararo onto the field. And it just enters as a token. And that's a very useful feature if you forgot to do something. So that's really it for the features you'll need to know to play. But some other features that can just help you with untap generally like this button which untaps all your things this is primarily used this is used in some games primarily magic the gathering because you tap cards when you attack and to pay for them with lands you can just untap everything and instead of double clicking it every time which is the other way to tap it then if you want to start a new game after one's finished you can hover uh well not hover over it you can click this since i don't have another player i can't start a new game but usually it will have two options uh like there's the option to leave game but there's like start another game or play another it says something like that there and if you click it it allows you to either choose a new deck or keep the existing deck to play with and it just resets everything the last feature i'm going to show you is how to communicate with your opponents and it's just simply by clicking the chat bar and just typing in whatever you want like if you want to say hello, you just type it in and click enter, and it will show you. Also, this chat icon, you can click actions if you only want to see what happens. I, uh, you can click chat to turn off chat once, and then you can see everything that's happened. Like when I drew cards, it shows you right here. Or if you don't want to see that, you can just click uh, back onto chat and turn off actions, and it will only show you what people are saying. The way to keep track of life points using that is uh, to use the white section for to represent each hundred of life points that you have. So at the start, it's set to 20, and then the bottom one, you can make, set it to 1 by clicking it once uh, to represent if you have like 50 extra health beyond the hundreds that the white section represents. And the way to change both of the sections is by clicking it to increase it by one and right clicking it to decrease it by one. So thank you for listening. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Untap. And have a good day. Good.